good impressions. About 100 million on the social web alone. Um, over 400 million to our um, digital ads. We're the number one trending topic on Twitter for the morning, number two on Google Trends for the day. 500,000 people came uh, to FordVehicles.com to do a build in price, and we actually saw more people come after they went to Facebook rather than people that just came from the ad itself. So it shows us that that level of engagement is absolutely crucial. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but ultimately, uh, when all was said and done, the impact that we had with that exercise was greater than that of a Super Bowl ad. So it just goes to show you how if you use paid, earned, and owned media working together in a deliberate way, and you're upfront with your, uh, with your audience about it, you can really have an impact. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. Um, I want to talk a little bit about promoted tweets and then close with a final video. Um, we asked a number of marketing bloggers to ask questions of Jim Farley, our chief marketing officer, who was at the Paris Motor Show. And then he answered those questions via video. Well, Mac Collier, who's a, a, a social media marketing blogger, uh, wrote about that. And then, of course, he has his Twitter account set up so that it comes directly uh, from his blog. So he's got a headline and a link to his blog. So Jim was talking about how we've realized so much savings in traditional media spend by doing something like the Fiesta movement where the level of awareness was already there before the vehicle launch. Mac thought that was pretty cool. And it was cool how Jim responded to him directly. So he tweeted about it and we looked at that and I said, that's a pretty good tweet that you've got there, Mac. So we approached him and asked him if he would be okay if we promoted his tweet, not ours. Because ultimately, it's what other people are saying about us. It's not what we're saying about ourselves. And Mac was like, well, let me make sure I understand this. You're going you're gonna to pay to advertise this to drive people to my blog? And we're like, yeah, that's exactly what we want to do. He's like, OK. So we had to retweet it. So it became our tweet. But it was Mac's content and Mac's site. And ultimately, we actually got called out by Adweek for that, as somebody who was trying something new, doing something different. So paid media generating earned media, once again. So it's this constant cycle that we're seeing. Um, wait a minute, how'd that <laughs> I usually use this with, uh, with board presentations. But, um, what's happening now is people are actually paying attention to what we're doing. They're looking at our engagement, they're looking at our marketing, and it's making them change their attitude about the company and ultimately about our products if they're taking the time to see what it is that we're making. And all along we've been talking about the people and the passion that come from our brands. And I mentioned that Blue Opal earlier on, that there are millions of people that are already passionate about Ford. And one guy I want to introduce you to is a guy by the name of Roger Keeney, who has had a lifelong dream to be able to drive a Mustang. And we wanted to give him that opportunity. The challenge is uh, Roger is blind. And we wanted to take that passion that he had and put it to, put it to good use. And there's a whole uh, webisodic series about that, but I want to share with you the story about how we actually found Roger and heard about his, uh, his desire and what we did. You can play the video, please.
There's so much more that we're doing that I wish I had time to tell you about. Um, but the fact of the matter is, we're all aligned as one for. We absolutely want to make sure that we're speaking, thinking, and feeling like the customers and respecting their value and time and giving them some reason to believe and ultimately a reason to buy it for. So thank you very much. Happy to take any questions. Thank you so much, Scott. We're, we're out of time, but maybe you can have a drink with us and answer some questions with Mark. I think that's possible. And hopefully you can come back and tell us the rest of your stories. That's great. Thank you. So.